life has always been driven by passion. Whatever I do, it's, there is a passion behind it. Uh, when uh, I started in, in motor racing, actually I started in motor racing very early. I told my parents when I was three years old that I wanted to become a, a professional race car driver. Uh, and it worked out, so I went into Formula One and uh, did, uh, did my career in, in, in there. When I was 18 years old, uh, finishing my study before going to university, I did a student job in a, in a company that was uh, uh, managing and operating private jets in, in Brussels as a mechanic. And that's where I dis discovered this, this uh, exceptional uh, uh, equipment or tools, uh, tra travel, travel tools. Um, and I thought, hmm, that's something I would like to do one day, to, to fly one of these, uh, these airplanes. So I got into Formula One later, and then when I had a little bit of money from prize money, I could buy a small plane, then I sold it, bought a slightly larger one, then did a few transactions, few upgrades for myself. Like this, uh, flying my own airplanes, going to races and to, uh, to, to practices, to, to trainings with, with the plane. And when I stopped racing, um, I had a request from another Formula One driver, Heinz Alfredsen, who wanted to buy an airplane. He said, came to me and said, I would like to buy a plane like yours, but I don't know where to get it, how it works. And so I said, okay, I'll take care of everything. And that was my first client. Two months later, the plane was there uh, with the pilot, everything was organized. And uh, thanks to this, I would say, success, my first airplane, I had requests from other Formula One drivers like Kiki Rosberg, Mika Hakkinen, uh, Michael Schumacher, Gilly Gier, they came to me to either sell or buy an airplane. Uh, so I thought, well, why not continue like this and develop this activity? And uh, so after a few, I would say about 10 transactions in the world of racing, I went outside this world into and started to advertise and to first of all I formed a company and then uh, start to advertise and, and uh, up to today we have sold, since the beginning we have sold 300 and I think 360 or 70 airplanes uh, worldwide in 50 different countries and five continents. So we are, we are pretty active in this world now. <music>I like discovered Monaco when I was uh, when I came here with the Formula One car. Actually, I drove the, the, in the city and I found it absolutely beautiful and really appealing. And so I started to investigate a little bit how is life in Monaco? What do we need to do to come and live in Monaco? Because I thought uh, this is the place where I want to I want to be. So uh, I moved to Monaco in the end of 1984. So I'm here since 33 years now. Uh, enjoying every moment of it, you know, enjoying uh, when the found the family here, the kids went <coughs> to school here in Monaco. Uh, three of my kids have already gone out and, and uh, living their life somewhere else, but uh, it was a very, very good, uh, it's a very good place to live. But many, many advantages. <laughs>— When we started the business in, in, the, in the beginning of the year 2000, we had uh, cycles of uh, heavy demand and then no demand for, but this was about three years cycles. Uh, when we got into 2008, 2009, the crisis started, the cycles went shorter, much shorter, went from three to two years to one year, and today, I mean, we, we are still in our industry, we are still in a crisis. Uh, and we have cycles of heavy, very heavy activity uh, for about three months and then three months nothing and then three months heavy activity again. It's very difficult to, uh, to think ahead. And we have no vision on, no immediate vision on the future. We know the business is there, the business will stay there and we will sell, sell aeroplanes. This is, we have no, no doubt about it, but how and, and uh, what do we need to do for that? Uh, we need to adapt every moment. Uh, things are changing. I would say at the speed of light and we need to, to be very, very reactive, which was not the case before. Before it was much more steady uh, kind of business. Today it's uh, very, very active.